Hey guys, it's Rob and welcome to the Robotron Show. Now today's episode includes stories like when we could see these Fox-owned superheroes in the MCU directly from Kevin Feige himself, which I can't wait for, and more evidence pointing to some kind of Persona 5 announcement or content or maybe even a Switch port, and a lot more cool and interesting news. So sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into the news. Alright, so first up, we have some very, very exciting news for the Marvel Fox related deal. Now, for those who don't know, superheroes like X Men, Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer are owned by Fox, but in the past year, Disney has made some plans to acquire those to insert them into the MCU, but we didn't really know when they would appear in the MCU or when we would hear any plans for these characters and these properties to be inserted into the MCU. Until now, that is. In an interview on Variety's Playback podcast, Kevin Foggy spoke about Disney's attempt to acquire Fox movie properties and the MCU going forward, stating it looks very, very good and could happen in the first six months of next year, this being 2019, of course. Now, this is a fantastic move and fantastic news. For one, Marvel is highly known for their end scene and mid scene credits, so placing one at the end of, say, Avengers Endgame or maybe Captain Marvel would be a fantastic way to introduce the X Men or the Fantastic Four and it would blow everyone's mind. Not to mention the excitement of the casting of the X-Men, Wolverine, Silver Surfer, and all those properties that the MCU can finally use. Moving on, we have more evidence of Persona 5 and some kind of announcement that might be happening. Now, earlier this week, we had a domain move on to Atlas servers called p5r.jp, pointing to some kind of update for their website, like a new Persona game or a new version of Persona 5, or what I'm hoping for, a new version of Persona 5 coming to the Nintendo Switch. Added in by the fact that Joker is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and more domains have appeared, it's pretty convincing that something is going to happen. But that's not where the evidence stops, not by a long shot. A video was actually posted to Atlas's YouTube account with Sakurai talking about Persona 5, which the timing couldn't be any more sweeter. All of this points to something happening, whether it be a Persona 5 Switch port announcement or a new version of Persona 5 not coming to Switch but coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC, or even a new Persona game announcement. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. When it hits us, I'll definitely be covering it. Now, our next topic is a very unfortunate topic for those who were excited for the PlayStation Classic and those who bought one too. A day after Christmas, retailers started to sell the PlayStation Classic for almost half the price, not even a month before its release. Now, there's a reason why Sony would make this move, and it's actually pretty simple. The PlayStation Classic is a failure. Back when the PlayStation Classic game list was announced, I said that this list could have been better, and also stated in the comment section that I hope they didn't rush this product, because that's what it was pointing to, and unfortunately, I was right. From bad sound quality to a lackluster features to bad emulation and more, the PlayStation Classic was a rushed job that had no heart or soul put into it. Unlike Nintendo's Classic line with the SNES Classic and the NES Classic, that had great emulation, features, and was made with thought and care. PlayStation Classic was not. If they decide to make a PlayStation Classic 2 or even another PlayStation Classic with different games, I hope they learn from their lesson and rethink their development plans for the system, because the people who bought this product were basically ripped off, plain and simple. And in our last bit of news, Forbes is estimating that Aquaman will hit $900 million and upwards to $1 billion, which would make it join the $1 billion club, and that is insane in itself. Now, the film has already made over $600 million globally and was released not too long ago. Now, Aquaman has already made $22 million on Christmas Day and $11 million on Christmas Eve, and it also made $83 million on its opening three-day weekend plus early previews, and it's going to be close or even past $700 million by New Year's Eve or New Year's date, which is crazy, seeing as it was just released not even a month ago. And let's not forget, before the Aquaman trailer was released and after Justice League, people were calling this movie a flop. You had people who defended the movie, of course, but overall, people were really uneasy about the future of the DCEU and the future of Aquaman. Not sure about this movie and a lot of other things. And of course, after the Aquaman trailer, the tune changed dramatically. Now, if Aquaman joins the Billion Dollar Club, you can bet your bottom dollar that DC will be going for comic book accuracy 
front page to screen from now on. I've said it multiple times in my videos that DC should strive for comic book accuracy. It works for Wonder Woman, it works for Aquaman, and it should work for the rest of the DCEU, and it has also worked very, very well for the DC Animated Universe too. Alright guys, that will be it for today's news. Tell me what you think about today's news in the comment section below, and if you've made it this far, I want to say thank you for watching this whole video, and think about subscribing for the next episode of the Robotron Show, and as always, have a good one.